Hi, my name is Jessica Falconbury. Um, this is Miss Parker's six hour language arts class. Um, and this is my self-help project. I decided to do my self-help project on um, learning how to sew. Um, I do have prior background knowledge on how to sew. I do make a lot of clothes and stuff like that. But there's a lot of techniques and stuff that I don't know that I've always really wanted to improve in. So pretty much my goal, especially because all I really ever make is dresses. So my goal is to um, make a new thing every week that I've never done before. Um, learn some new techniques. So every week I'll be doing that. Um, my book is the step-by-step -step sewing course. And it was published by Reader's Digest. It's the essential techniques for making over 150 creative home projects. So this is pretty perfect for what I want to do. Dad, what do you think my sewing skills are like? Average to below average. I'm so awesome. Okay, thanks. This is my sewing area. See here, I got my sewing machine. I got my uh, my sewing kit here. Got all kinds of all kinds of stuff. Every color string. The needles, the pins, yeah, that's, this thing is to, so like if you mess up, you can like pick out the old string and fix it. Um, I got my thing to stick the pins in, um, extra bobbins, um, some things so you don't pluck your thumbs. I don't use those because I'm a man about it. And a measuring tape. So, we're going to go in here to the, uh. This is where it explains that, all your equipment. I have all this stuff. Um, yeah, my sewing machine. Yeah. Um, I don't know where my tripod's at. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. This is the bottom. It's the skirt. It's already got the elastic on there for me because it's a dress that I just cut in half. Alright, you're on my sandal. Then I got this top shirt here. I don't know if you can see that. Alright, so pretty much this is what it looks like right now. Um, it's a dress that, again, I cut in half because I'm too tall. So I'm going to expand it by putting a piece of fabric right here so that um, it will fit me. Um, what I really want to do is put, like, lace here or, like, a like crisscross, like, black sh um, fabric. But I don't have that. So I cut this blue fabric out. I thought it would look pretty nice with it. And so that's pretty much what my dress is going to look like. Um, what I need to do is just flip it inside out. And then I pinch these two together. And then I will pin it all the way across. So flip it back inside out. And it will all be one big dress. Sweet. Charmander, I choose you. Perfect. This is the completed outcome of the dress. I do want to like probably cut this in half. So it'll probably only be like this long. I didn't really think about that like before I started. So yeah, this is the dress. I'm going to shorten it, but that's my first completed project. Some of the te techniques that I used from the book were just um, starting it inside out and sewing like that like it's just straight it's a straight stitch for the hems which is the instruction that it gave so yep and that's what it looks like first one was a success except it didn't really look how I wanted to but whatever still sewed my next project that I want to do is um something like this pretty much what this is is um it's a pouch so how I'm going to make this, according to the book, is that I'm going to take a piece of fabric, I'm going to cut 
All right, I need to cut two rectangles, and then I'm gonna sew each of the recti each of the rectangles are gonna be about this long, and then I'm gonna sew them on both sides of a zipper, and then whatever shape I want my pouch to be, I kind of want my pouch to be like. I really want it to just be a square. They have like a banana and an orange and a lemon. I just want mine to be a square. So I'm probably going to do something more like this. Pretty much you cut two squares, put them on either side of the zipper. Um, see like this is a technique I've never done. They add like, I have this so, so it's not a big deal. They put like there's like a clear like white sheet of fabric that you put over the other piece of fabric and then you iron them together makes it more like thicker and like stays up so that you, you can have a bag and your bag's not just all floppy and like falling together um, so it says cut out all fabric pieces cut and fuse lightweight inferior to wrong side of main bag zipper guess and guess extension pieces Oh, gousset extension pieces. Fold main body piece in half and around quarters, corners. Second step. On one gousset piece, center one side of zipper face down and right side along edge. Stitch zipper to close, s stitch close to zipper teeth. Oh, sip, stitch close to the zipper teeth. Press zipper face up. Stitch remaining gousset to opposite edge of the zipper in the same way. If desired, pin tiny piece of fabric over the ends of the zipper tape to hold gousset edge at the proper... Okay. Uh, what? things I will need, my fabric, tape measure, scissors, 